Hey guys, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this eye look using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. In case you guys didn't see my last video, it was also a makeup tutorial using the same palette, just a different look. And in that video, I mentioned doing a giveaway. So if you're interested in entering, then go check out that video because it has all of the rules in the description box and in the video. But in this video, we're going to be doing a cool tone and warm tone eye look. We're just going to be mixing it all together in this tutorial, which definitely pushes me outside of my comfort zone but I think it turned out so good and I'm actually low-key obsessed with it so let's get started since this look is very dramatic and colorful we want to set our eyelids and prime them so today I'm going to be taking my max paint pot in the color laying low and I'm just going to be applying this all over the lid and the crease And then you can just blend like the edges with your finger. I feel like it just makes it a little bit softer of an edge. Then I'm gonna set my lids with the Dermablend setting powder. Then we're gonna immediately dust the powder off. So going into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm going to be using this light brown shade and putting it into my crease. Next we're going to take this peachy color, but for this color we're going to blend it a little below the color we just put in our crease. Then I'm going to be taking this reddish brown color and creating a little bit of depth in my crease. Then I'm going to be taking this blue and putting it on my lid. I am going to be using my pinky for this blue because I feel like the color payoff is just so much better when I use my finger for any like glittery or shimmery pigments. So these are the eyes right now, and I personally don't think it looks super terrible, especially for my first time using crazy colors like this, but I did want to make like the peachy reddish part a little bit darker and a little bit more noticeable, and then blend the two seamlessly. I'm trying to copy this picture from like Morphe's Instagram. It's definitely not as good as the Instagrams, but hey, again, it's my first time like really playing with colors, so I'm trying to like make it look as close as I can. So we're gonna go back in with some of the peachy colors and maybe even the browns. So we're gonna take this peachy orange color and put it in our crease again. So that looks a little bit better, but as you can see, it's kind of like dripping down on the blue eyeshadow. So we're gonna have to apply some of that again. So you can kind of tell the difference. Like this eye just looks a lot more popping. And this eye just looks like I'm wearing blue eyeshadow. So I definitely want like the two colors to be shown. To deepen the corners up, I'm going to be taking this purple right here. And this is the difference without the deepening of the corner. This one has it and then this one doesn't. And then I'm just gonna blend a little bit more. So this is what I have so far. I'm not done just yet. I actually wanna go put on a full face of makeup and then come back and do my lower lash line with you guys. And I definitely think this look calls for some lashes. And luckily for me, I just picked up some new ones from Ulta. So I will be right back. So I put on some lashes and did my full face of makeup. And now it is time to do the lower lash line. First, I'm gonna be taking this peachy color and putting that all over my lash line. Then I'm going to be placing the blue on the outer part of my lower lash line. Then 
for the next step, I'm going to be taking mascara and putting some on the bottom lash line. So this is the complete cool tone, warm tone eye look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. And don't forget to check out my giveaway for the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. If you're interested in entering, then definitely go check out my last makeup tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. All of the rules are in the description box and in the video, so you can find out more about it there. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.